we will see copy roles. So if we go to uh, roles, then you select a role that uh, you wanted to copy. Okay, so then if you go to uh, more options, you will see copy role option. So here we have uh, two options, right? Copy top role and copy top role and inherited roles. Uh, if you use the copy top role option, so then um, what it will do is it will copy all the, uh, um, it will add the role memberships. Suppose, uh, example, if you go to functional policies, it copies all the functional pol policies that are already there for sales representative standard role. Okay. Then uh, data security policies, it will add as is uh, for uh, that are available for sales representative standard role. Then when it comes to role hierarchy, um, so whatever the roles that are available uh, for standard sales representative role, right, will be directly added. So it doesn't make a copy of the, that. Okay. Uh, so it, it adds directly uh, here. So it means, uh, so it will just add the membership, uh, the role memberships it will add, but it doesn't actually copy the role. So, um, so if you change some role uh, of uh, this inherited role, it will be impacted to this role as well. So we are not making a complete copy of the inherited role or the, or, or the child role. So once you done this, uh, you can um, submit uh, this copy. So role will be uh, copied. And to do the prefix and suffix, you can you can do from here. So you can add the prefix of uh, role name and role code. You can also see the status here, processing. So in previous session, we have uh, created one deep copy. So for deep copy also, uh, so uh, so the same way we need to do sales representative. We go to copy role. So we have this copy top role and inherited roles. So if you select this, uh, what you can see is um, okay, with this there is already a role. So we will, we will change the format so that role name will not be unique. I'll change it to three. Now, if you go to role hierarchy, you can see, uh, so most, uh, most of the roles are, are copied. So if you see, uh, this one, hmm, CX sales party management, so it is copied, uh, CX and then, uh, the up and up, uh, suffix will be GSC shallow copy three. And there are only few roles that are not copied because it doesn't have anything to copy. So it just uh, added the same role. Then uh, in, in, in shallow copy, uh, uh, sorry, in deep copy, if the role name, right, is already exists, so then it doesn't copy, it just ignores that. So in that case, we need to uh, review. Uh, for example, uh, 
sales party review so if we just search with that i have already one role copied uh, with um, cx sales party review so now uh, there is one more role it seems so it it is not duplicating okay it is it it already copied once with the uh, with the with the prefix and suffix we gave so it is not copying again so uh, so we we always need to review and if any uh, uh, some um, uh, additional roles or something is not required so we will always uh, go here and we will delete this even on uh, during the creation of the role or copying the role or once the role creation is completed so then also we can come back again and we can edit uh, we can remove or uh, do the changes so then uh, just review and submit uh, this copy role we'll also see the uh, visual representation of how uh, copy role of uh, copy role options um, so copy top role or shallow copy we can also call it a shallow copy copy top role or shallow copy so suppose this is the job role that we are going to copy shallow copy okay so then what it will it has a duty role under that duty role there is one more duty role and uh, to job role only we have some privileges as well some functional privileges so now if we do shallow copy okay so uh, so what it will do is it will take all the um, duty roles exactly whatever is available and uh, the privileges uh, to uh, job role so here the dotted line represents it just take the membership so it just whatever the standard roles or, or whatever the roles that are already there for this it will just add to that it doesn't make a copy it doesn't make a new copy so and also it doesn't add the uh, uh, this one uh, duty role because it is already tagged to this uh, uh, the above duty role so if we just add this so automatically this uh, duty role will also uh, will also apply to this new role here in this process we are not making a copy we are not duplicating this uh, role or roles it is just adding the existing role to the new copied role so that is the uh, that is about a uh, shallow copy when it comes to uh, copy top role and inherited roles that is nothing but a uh, deep copy so we can call it as a deep copy so here uh, also right if we take the same example uh, of job role with the duty role under that one more duty role and uh, privileges now here if you observe a uh, while copying um, so it copies the the top role okay copy of uh, the job role and a uh, copy of duty role you can see and it also uh, it duplicates uh, this duty role and as well as the uh, inherited duty role so it copy it, it it copies or it duplicates both and since this uh, aggregated privileges are directly available to this job role it just adds uh, the existing privileges to the job role uh, so this is how uh, the deep copy will work so uh, suppose we, if we don't want uh, uh, like the exact copy of the standard role or any other role so then then we can create a custom role uh, if we know the what uh, the exact privileges that we are needed or you can consider creating a top role only then you add whatever the minimum um, um, inherited roles that you want you, you can just add those not all but if you want uh, 
the exact copy same, but you want to just remove one one uh, one inherited role. So then you can consider uh, the sh sh uh, deep copy. So both ways you can do, but uh, there will be uh, more work uh, depending on the scenario. If you just want to remove one single rule, so, so then um, then deep copy is the best option. If you want to add uh, only one inherited rule, so then the top uh, uh, shallow copy will be the best option. Okay, so now we will see, uh, we have seen editing role, copying role, uh, comparing roles also. Just we'll see the simulate navigator. So uh, for every role, you, can, you will have this option, uh, simulate navigator. So what exactly this uh, represents is uh, the access. Uh, this particular role will give what access in the navigator. So that that it tells that 